Hello, dental speakers. Um, Vanessa Emerson here, founder of Dental Speaker Institute. Speakers Bureau, and I'm super excited to be here with our friend and colleague, Victoria Peterson. Hey, Victoria. Hello, Vanessa. I love you. Or should we say aloha? Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Um, we're here together to share um, news about a wonderful course this offered just prior to Jumpstart, and we're going to talk about that in the future. Um, some of you in our community are candidates in the program, and this is a fellowship um, approved course. So you who are looking to um, receive, uh, earn that credit uh, towards your fellowship, just wanted to point that out. The name of our course is Rings True, Bringing Authenticity to Your Stage Presence. And before we really hop in, if you don't mind, I'm just going to give us some details right now, Victoria, about that. It's, the course will be during our pre-conference day on Wednesday, January 5th, it will be 8.30 to 2.30 right there on site with us. So you can come in early, come in on Tuesday the 4th, 8.30 to 2.30 with Victoria right there at our hotel in the Arroyo meeting room. Arroyo meeting room. And to register, this is not a jumpstart course. It's being a, it's an auxiliary course, so it's um, offered at the same time, but you would register with Victoria. So we're going to give you all the details on that, but basically it's victoriapeterson.life will be the site that you'll go to find out more about this. So I hope you don't mind if front loaded and I'm also going to back in the details because I think that's so important for everybody around how do I, how do I learn more about this? But could, could you, for those who for some reason don't know Peterson, <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that, because we know Victoria, we've been with us at our, in our community several years now we've listened to you uh, as a key and, and so many of our, our colleagues as I do just um, love and uh, enjoy learning from you so could you give us like the short little bio bios you got a lot girl you you a lot <laughs> could you give us the the piece why this topic why you for this topic um, I think probably because I've made so many mistakes on the stage and not being authentic. <laughs> and I remember early in my career, not really knowing what to talk about. So I would talk about what sponsors told me to talk about, or I had pre-prescribed uh, content. And that's okay. That's where a lot of us start, right? We, we work for another company and we use their material and we hone our skills. And so now I think what I'm known for in DSI is, oh, you're the one that came out in a ball gown. <laughs> you're the one that <laughs> you know, blue jeans and, you know, or I'm in a purple sleeveless, whatever, you know, so um, often How much dancing around the ballroom, <laughs> like you know, socially distanced conga. Um, That's and, right. <laughs> um, I love that you trust me. And I think that trust is extended because on um, opening or closing keynotes, I've never keynoted before. And you said, and I said, well, what do I do? And you're like, no PowerPoint, have one if you want, but just come up and be you. And I thought, wow, that really is gonna make me look in the mirror and say, what does that mean to be me? What does that mean to be me and bring value to the audience? Because ultimately when you're standing on the stage, it's not about you. And that's what this course is about. So um, it's my journey. It's not a perfect journey. It's unfolding. It's gonna be hilarious because um, I tend to say some pretty hilarious stuff on stage and I'm not someone who's known for being funny. Um, you know, I just start channeling- It comes out. <laughs> yeah, I just start channeling the characters in my life. <laughs> Well, th thank you for that. Now, so Victoria, the course rings true, bring on, bringing authenticity to your stage presence. What would be happening potentially for the, uh, the speakers with whom this would be a good fit? Like what's happening for them? I mean, you gave us some of them about sometimes we are, you know, we feel like we can't be authentic, but are, are there any other challenges or pain points that would help them recognize, oh, I need this course? Yes. So um, if you're developing a new course and you don't know quite how to get in your skin with it yet, like you haven't really owned it, this would be a great place to work it out. So think about this as more of, um, if you've ever done improv 
acting improv theater training or improv jazz if you're a musician or things like that there's a safe space where actors and musicians come together just to work out their content so i have a yeah. good friend who has a comedy club in um, rochester new york all the big name comics come through that place before they go to new york and get on the big stages throughout the us so think about that as this safe place it's where i want to come and work my content so if you have a short like five minute piece eight minute piece that you want to work on depending on the size of the room we could even go full ted talk style so come with something that you're struggling with or maybe something that you've taught for a long time and you're like, ooh, it's falling flat now. It's still, the bones of it is great, but it needs something fresh. And for me, that freshness is not about searching the internet and figuring out what everybody else is doing. It's searching your inner yeah. net, right? And getting- Oh, I love that. That's a term given to me by my mentor, Connell Sawyer. And she's like, it's our internet oh. that really guides our outer world. And that's what authenticity is about. So if you're refreshing content, you're trying out new content, you want to kind of see, you know, like it's not quite bouncing right within you. This would be a great place to work that out. Oh, I, you know, I'm sitting here having FOMO already because I'm going to be setting up for the conference the next day. I'm like, I wish I could be in two places at one time. This sounds so wonderful. So that's the, that speakers might be experiencing now that would, so that they would know that, oh, that she's talking to me. You talked about we would be able to like work some of those, some of that out with our, with our content. Um, what, what like learn? What, what's covered? Yeah, so this is different. Um, you know, one of my heroes, you're, you're awesome. You're, you're my top hero in the speaking industry. Oh. <laughs> and you're my you. friend and partner, Catherine Itell. I mean, you're, you're who I look to for content development and all of that. So this is not like a Catherine Itell program where you're working out the books on your bookshelf. It's not like a Paul homily where we're going through the arc of the story, things like that. It's this is where you start owning the content. So if you have some content or a concept, that's all you need. So we're not going to say now three minutes on this and two bullet points on that. This is really um, it, it's going to help reveal to you what might be holding you back from fully connecting with the audience in an authentic and true way. Oh, I love it. So it really is more, it's an inner journey. Yes. It sounds to me like, right? Yes. Um, and so we have a full page course description that's in the pack. We'll link to that. This information will be on the Dental Speaker Institute homepage with our, our conference information. Um, and there are some bullet points there, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot more detail. But is, it, is there anything we didn't cover around what's covered that would, you think would be important to share? Um, you know, even in this, in this time here, promoting this course, I want to add value. So if I could add value today, I would ask you this one question. How do you view your audience? How do you view your clients? So ponder that piece. So you're saying this is an introspective because how I view my people that I serve colors everything. Mm, yeah. Right. And so how I view will determine what conferences I might want to apply for as a speaker. It might um, inform the audiences that I want to engage with. And my ear has been really tuned to this um, in the conferences and how they evolve and what's out there. So there are some conferences in our industry that are very legally focused, right, very corporately focused, and how they view dentists is as a resource. They view mm -hmm. dentists and dentistry as like a crop, almost like there's a cornfield, I need a resource to mine that. So that's one way of viewing your clients and audience. Another is I view clients as um, a, a gift, you know, might be there's so they're a gift and I am privileged to work with them. I serve and I support. So there is this lens that we don't often think about of how do I view 
my my clients and my audience. So that's, right. that's the pre-work to the pre-work. <laughs> yeah, that's already that's already a really great point. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Um, is there anything else we should cover about the course before we give them some details? Um, no, I can share. I'll just share the top three things that kept me from being authentic was sometimes I took the stage out of ego and sometimes I took the stage not fully comfortable in my body and it made me nervous. And sometimes I took the stage because I needed the money and I needed to get my relationship with money on a better, even keel so that when I showed up, that background noise, kind of like my iPhone when the battery dies, there's a lot, there's too many apps open and there's background noise. So we're going to cover things like that. What's the background noise that keeps us from showing up in our full power, in our full influence, in our full authentic self? That's a great analogy with the iPhone. That is a great analogy how it's just, it sucks at the energy without you even realizing. I mean, it's like always under the surface. Great, great, great job. Victoria, every time we're together, we learn from you. Thank you for being a member of our community. Thank you for being involved with Jumpstart, um, whatever we call you. <laughs> Not director of culture, whatever whatever term we're going to land on. But, but ultimately, um, I really do appreciate you being a, a Part of our a, a leader in our community with it. even a conversation such as this where we're talking about you know coming to a course we learn from you so thank you for your big heart and for sharing that with us um, for those of you who uh, feel like you'd be able to get in early enough and would love to participate with this course go to dentalspeakerinstitute.com on our homepage is the jumpstart information or you can short shortcut it and go right to Victoria's site uh, victoriapeterson.life and there will be a courses uh, page there where you can learn more about this course rings true bringing your authentic voice to the stage again it's happening live january 5th in phoenix 8 30 to 2 30 at our our conference hotel church in wrigleyville close to the airport if somebody wanted to come in just for this um well we hope you'll stay for jump start but <laughs> if somebody wanted to come in just for this i mean that, that totally is viable too um, and so you would register directly with Victoria, uh, victoriapeterson.life. Um, and any questions, hello at victoriapeterson.life. Peterson, S-O-N, Victoria, I mean, it's, not, it's pretty straightforward, right? Like Emerson is straightforward, but sometimes people are like, spell it two M's. Do you want, should I spell it out? I think we got it. I'll put the link down below. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much fun with you, Victoria. Um, thank you for being here. Um, anything else we need to add? No, so excited to serve. Thank you. And I am a champion of the culture of DSI. It's just yeah, you one of the most wonderful communities in dentistry. So thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you for being, uh, being um, part of the family. And I, I you know, I'm just kind of cheesy, but I have to um, sign off by saying thank you. And then regarding the course, I have to say, be there. Aloha, because I just can't miss the opportunity. <laughs> Great to see you, Victoria. Great to see all of you virtually, and we hope to see you in Phoenix in January. Best wishes. Be well.